Hi, I'm Teresa from Creativity Lane. Do you have photos on your phone, on your computer, sitting there doing nothing and you always wonder where and how you can display them in your home? Today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful photo wall using your own photos. So you have photos and you're scared of using them. Why? Because you think that you don't look good, that you're not a professional photographer, you haven't composed them well. Don't worry about it. The, the important thing is that it's memories that's captured and those memories are priceless. Show them. If you don't know where to put them, my decorating rule is a hallway is an excellent space to do a whole wall of a photo wall, display your life, use the photos that you have and Put them there. It, it's such a beautiful thing if you can just see them every day. They're no use to anyone on a USB in a drawer. For a gallery wall, my best advice is go monotone. It's a classic. It looks beautiful. It'll give you that gallery wall feeling. And since we have all of the space, it's a space where it's, it's not a living room. It's not a bedroom. It can just be enjoyed for what it is. I have asked my client for all her photos, I've turned them into black and white, stripped the colour of them, it just looks beautiful and timeless. And you get a lot of free applications online that you can just use to take the photos that you have, convert them into black and white, make sure that all the tones are all the same, and then I have bought inexpensive frames from Ikea. I'm going to show you how to create a whole cohesive design with all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Right, now how do you do this? There's two ways that I would suggest you doing it. We've got a big wall. You don't want to be spending hours figuring out how to do this, putting holes in the wall, you know, and it's going to look crazy when you've done it. The two ways that I suggested, get all your photos, put them in the frames that you have, use brown paper, newspaper, any old paper, cut it the exact same size as that picture, and then you sticky tape them with a little bit of removable tape on the wall in a design that you like because then you can move it around and you can stand back and see if this is what you want without drilling one hole. The other option, the one that I use, is I normally pack the whole thing on the floor. Then I can move the whole thing around, you know, as I would like it and then I would just copy that on the wall. So I take the biggest photo first, I start with the biggest photo, make, make sure that it's where you want it and then you add the whole thing in. The best advice at the end of the day is when you have done your design, it has got to look like one piece of artwork. So if you have a lot of landscape photos, like I have on this project, we're going to make sure it is a whole cohesive design in a landscape shape, like a rectangle, or you can go square, or you can go oval. It doesn't matter. As long as whatever you put inside, and the photos on the inside can be all different shapes and sizes, that's not the issue. The issue is that your, your, your shape at the end of it has got to be a clean and cohesive design. And a good way of mixing it up, I love using landscapes. So I've asked my client to give me some photos that she, where they've traveled, places they've been, and I've taken one or two and I've enlarged them so that that can create a beautiful landscape, a, a kind of a grounding element to the whole family story. You can add all sorts of elements in your big picture, like perhaps your house's first keys, or maybe your baby's shoes, hang them on a little beautiful this decorative hook, um, all sorts of little personal things that you can add inside that frame.
the right install. We've done a beautiful gallery wall. And you know what the first thing my client said when I asked her if she's got some photos? She said, we don't take photos. We're not the photo type people. And look how much have I been able to source from her Facebook page, from her few personal items, personal photos that she had on a drive. And we've covered a whole wall. This is literally a four meter wall. Inexpensive art that really, when she walks through this door, the whole family, I watch them come through and they all stop, they talk, it's, it evoke emotions that, that it's just stunning to see. You know, this is an, a space where they go out to work, come back in from work, so they will be seeing this every day. And I see them having smiles on their faces when they walk past, and I'm really glad that I could do this. Um, have you found anything helpful in this? Do you think that you could create this in a space that you overlooked perhaps in your home? Do you have an empty hallway, a little nook, a little corridor where you can put your own photos? And it doesn't have to be expensive. Inexpensive frames goes a long way. So if you found this helpful, if you enjoyed watching this and think you can use this in your own home, I'm going to show you much, much more. I have got lots of ideas, inexpensive ways to really make your house shine and you fall in love with your place. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notifications and I'll see you back here next time.